Alice, thank you very much for joining us with that analysis. And despite all the talk about coronavirus vaccines, cancer is still a far greater cause of death worldwide. A Tel Aviv University team succeeded in using microscopic scissors to pinpoint and eliminate cancerous cells in animals, showing the potential to move on to human trials in the future. For more on this groundbreaking technology, I'm joined by Professor Dan Peel, director at the Laboratory of of Precision Nanomedicine at Tel Aviv University. Thank you very much for joining us. Tell us a bit about this technology. How does it work and how does it fight cancer? So, as you know, cancer, devastating disease, cells are proliferating and without any control. And so we decided to try and deliver uh, basically those molecular scissors that can cut the DNA in a very efficient manner. Until now, this uh, technology was used also in clinical trial, basically by taking cells out of the patients and basically using some viruses in order to uh, cut the DNA and then bring back the cells into the patient. And this has been done in a few clinical trials very recently, only in rare genetic diseases. Now we thought maybe we should use this great system, almost visionary system, in order to cut you know, important genes that are responsible for proliferation of cancer. The major issue is delivery. How can we deliver those very unique uh, uh, scissors into the right cells in an animal, for example, and how we do not deliver it into normal healthy cells? So what we, de what we develop basically is a nanotechnology tool that could be scaled up. You can entrap inside those molecular uh, scissors or those scissors that cut the DNA in a format of a messenger RNA. So here is your connection to the coronavirus. We all know that both Moderna and Pfizer-BioNTech are developing messenger RNA-based vaccines. Those uh, vaccines are uh, basically using the messenger RNA in order to encode for a specific protein. We do the same. For us, this protein is the molecular scissors, the scissors that cut the DNA. So basically using the same potential approach, we utilize the this almost same strategy, but improve it. First, because our coating of this mRNA is a little bit more sophisticated, and then we gave it an address, kind of a GPS system that can easily identify the cancer cells and not the healthy cells. So the connection that you mentioned there between the, this technology and the technology in the coronavirus vaccines is really fascinating, which raises a question of, you know, in the near future, do you think all of this rush and so much resources that have been invested into finding and developing a corona vaccine can maybe translate into medicine and vaccines for other diseases and, and basically improve people's health worldwide in the longer yes. run? Exactly. So I think that, you know, all the process that have been done during the last 12 months in quite a lot of companies, and, you know, you, we gave the two examples, but there are others that are now in, in the same race. These technologies will be able to change medicine because we will be able to use the same processes, the same industrial processes, in order to use it for not only for vaccine, but also for therapeutics. And this is, you know, the bar is higher for therapeutics, but we believe that almost the same strategies with a little bit of a twitch, a small twitch, for example, introducing this targeting specificity, this GPS system, is something that uh, could be utilized from all the knowledge that you know those companies gain in the past 12 months. Okay, Professor Don Pell, thank you so much for that. And really, hopefully, from something bad, maybe something good can come if really medicine does take a leap forward from all of these technological innovations, such as the ones that you're doing also over there. Great work at Tel Aviv University. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you so much. Now, Russia has sentenced a man to 13 years in prison for trying to pass military secrets about Russia's northern fleet to the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency. This according to the Federal